Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you a 1 to 99 fire making guide for 2017. So first of all, this skill is very easy to train and it's very cheap as well. So yeah, this is going to be my first 1 to 99 guide in this channel. I know a lot of you are waiting for this, so yeah, I decided to give this a shot. So the first set of unlocks and items I'm going to talk about are the all fired up quests mini game rewards. The flame gloves and the ring of fire. They both give 2% more XP for fire making each, and if you wear them both together, they'll give you 5% more XP to fire making. The fire gloves require 62 fire making, and the ring of fire requires 79 fire making. Then there's the infernal adds, and it's not really useful in today's game, but it still serves as a dragon hatchet, and so there's a 33% chance of burning a log when you're cutting. Then the next useful item is the invention perks. I'll get into this section later on, but first I'll talk about the superheat form. So this is basically a Saren prayer, and it requires the light within quest complete. You also must require 91 prayer to activate. So what superheat form does, is when you activate it, it'll burn anything instantly you cut, and it'll give you fire making XP as if it was normally burnt. The Book of Char is also a useful item, and this requires the Fire Maker's Curse complete, and I'll explain this method later on. So the next item I'll talk about is the Portable Braziers. This is basically a treasure hunter item, and you can buy this off the GE, or share with others. And so there's this friend chat called Portables, that shares the portables with others, and they will announce the locations. There's also a portable spreadsheet, and I'll leave that link in the description, so essentially you're better off sharing portables, as it's cheaper that way. This basically gives you 10% more fire making XP, as well as 10% chance to save a log. Now unfortunately Iron Man cannot use this sadly. Then the next useful item is the Phoenix Reborn Familiar. It requires 72 summoning, and it lasts for 30 minutes each. So what this does, is there's a 5% chance to burn 2 logs at once. And finally, the last useful unlock is Cremation Ability. This is unlocked by killing any type of ghost, and this is a rare drop. So basically what this does, is you add bones to a bonfire or brazier, and so the bone will give you 2.5 times the prayer XP than normal prayer XP, as well as twice the fire making XP than the normal prayer XP. And this burns slightly faster than bonfiring, which is 4 ticks instead of 6 ticks. Unfortunately this isn't very ideal, because of how expensive the bones are. So I'm going to get into the next section, and that is the other XP multipliers. The first thing I'll talk about is the bonus XP. The best way to get it is from Barbarian Assault, and there's a friend chat called BA Space Teams that does this. Now this is a fairly hard game to play, but I have all 4 roles of hard mode if you guys need, and I'll leave that link in the description as well. Now there's more to list, but those are the most common XP multipliers on this list. So finally, I'll talk about the training methods. From level 1 to 15, you will be doing regular logs for bonfire. You will only need 55 regular logs, and that is with a brazier. From 15 to 30, you will be using oak logs on a bonfire, and you'll be needing 166 of them. Then from 30 to 45, you're going to be using willow logs to a bonfire, and you'll be needing 487 of them. From 45 to 60, or you can go all the way to 99 or higher, you will be using maple logs to a bonfire or brazier. Now for Iron Man, you can continue using maple logs all the way through because of miscellanea. To get to level 60, you'll need 1430 maple logs. And to get to level 99 all the way with this, you'll need 87,360 maple logs. The average XP per hour is 141k, assuming you burn 950 logs per hour. From level 60 to 75, or you can continue all the way to 99, you will be using U logs to a bonfire. Now in terms of cost and XP, this seems to be the best, cause U logs are fairly cheap, and so this requires 4,206 U-Logs to level 75. The amount of U-Logs you need from level 60 to 83 is 10,722. Otherwise to level 99, you will need 57,000 
288 U-logs. The average XP per hour you'd get is 211k, assuming you burn 950 logs per hour. Now from level 75, you can use this method to level 83, 90, or even 99 or higher. And so what you'll be burning is either the magic logs or the newly corrupted magic logs to a bonfire. They're basically the same thing, but the corrupted magic logs are slightly cheaper. However, both of them are more expensive than U logs at this moment. You will need 12,377 magic logs to get to level 90. And the amount of magic logs you'll be needing from 75 to 83 is 4,377. And you'll need 35,383 magic logs to get to level 99. This gives you an average of 317k XP per hour, assuming you burn 950 logs per hour. From level 90 to 99, you'll be burning elder logs to a bonfire. Now I highly don't advise this, because elder logs are much more expensive. You will need 16,068 elder logs to get to level 99. And the average XP per hour is 455k XP per hour. And that is assuming you burn 950 logs per hour. So from level 83 to 99, you'll be doing the superheat form at the Jidinko Lair. And so this requires 83 woodcutting, 83 fire making, 91 prayer, as well as the light within quest complete. So the Jidinko Lair is in the Herblore habitat. And so to get there directly, use the Mask of Jidinkos, then run north. Otherwise you can use either the Witch Doctor Mask or the Juju Spirit Bag, then run south and climb over the roots again, and run south again and climb over the roots, and you can finally enter. Now you want to use the middle north room because this has the best cluster for the curly roots. So for the equipment, what you want to have is a crystal tinderbox or pyromatic. For those who are training invention, you're gonna need that. Then enhance Excalibur with Wise 3 perk for 3% more XP. Then Lumberjack is optional, but you get 5% more woodcutting XP. The Ring of Fire and the Flame Gloves will give you 5% more fire making XP. And then finally, I have the Prayer Bonus gear. And that's optional, but it's a little bit helpful. The only things in my inventory I would bring are Prayer Renewals and Prayer Potions. You don't really need much here since Super Heat Form doesn't drain much prayer. If you don't have it in your tool belt, you want to bring a crystal or dragon hatchet. So here's the strategy for the curly roots. So previously, it used to be very inconvenient, because you'd risk misclicking a Jirinko to attack. But now you can toggle the attack option in the combat settings. So to simply do that, just press F4 and look for the combat settings, and then set the NPC to hidden. And so yeah, just pretty much find a curly root, and only curly roots give you the most XP because the straight roots hardly give you any XP. So you basically just chop it, then chop one more time to collect, and then it will finally burn it. Now the roots may sometimes uncurl, and that happens a little bit often, and if it does happen, just move to another root. In an hour, you can expect 750k fire making XP, as well as 85k woodcutting XP. Now superheat form is somewhat click intensive, and it's not AFK, so some of you might prefer bonfire instead. From level 90 to 99, you'll be using protein logs otherwise. And they're basically available from Treasure Hunter. Now they're generally not worth using, as you're better off converting it to something else. The average XP per hour is 823k, and that is assuming you burn 950 of these per hour. You will need 9.7k logs to 99. So let's get into the non-conventional methods. The first one I'll talk about is the Book of Char daily. You basically activate it, then burn the logs you step over. Now the Varrock method is easier, but it's slower. The other method of using Book of Char is called the Fight Kill method. And this is faster, but it requires a lot of effort. As well as you need to be on mouse keys just to drop the logs, cause yeah, I don't really trust mouse keys for some reason. Both of the methods are generally difficult to master, but if you do know how to do it properly, then it can be lots of XP per hour, and it's certainly the best method overall. Then there's the Char Cave Training, and that's a weekly fire making D&D. And then there's Circus Fire Making, and that's also another weekly D&D. 
Now finally we have the fire making brawlers. And this lasts 1200 uses. It gives you 4 times the XP from burning the logs in the deep wilderness. And so the best logs to use are the protein logs at the northeast corner of the wildy. You'll see a banker nearby. And so you can get a whopping 10 mil plus XP per hour for fire making. So let's get into the invention section for fire making training. So this invention item is called the Pyromatic Tinderbox. The other alternative is the Crystal Tinderbox. And that's the same thing, but it gives you five times the chance of getting fire spirits. Now here are the perks I would suggest. The Pyromaniac, the Rapid, or the Tinker perk are the three choices. The first combination I would suggest are Pyromaniac 4 plus Rapid 2. And so this can be rarely obtained by using five light components. It's also possible to get Pyromaniac 5 plus Rapid 2, but it's actually very, very rare. Then you can pair this up with Tinker 3 perk on the second gizmo. And so in order to get this, I would use five fungal components. This should take around seven tries. So using the above perks, you can expect around 1,050 logs burnt per hour in a bonfire. So in conclusion, best of luck training fire making and just choose which method is right for you. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope it helps. If I missed anything, feel free to ask.